Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other uploads hello beautiful people welcome back to new face entertainment with a brief story of joshua anthony's early beginnings from his first boxing coach sean murphy as it tells vividly how the everweight champion could have gone down a very different path Sean Murphy met Joshua when he was an 18-year-old who wandered into his gym, Finchley ABC with his cousin, Ben Ileyemi, who wanted to keep the young Anthony Joshua out of trouble. At that time, Joshua had only once before been in a boxing gym and had left after a few sessions. But Muff admits he never dreamed the young man he welcomed into his gym over a decade ago would become the champion he is today. I would never ever have dreamed he would get to where he is today, he said. I have had it in my gym where kids go the other way. I had a boy who was boxing with me and won a few national titles. He is locked up in prison now doing a six-year stretch. He is into heroin and cocaine. It's not all fairy tale ending for some people. And Joshua almost did go down the same path. In 2011, he was caught with marijuana in his car and was charged with cannabis possession. It was a major charge but Joshua had been called to join Team GB's Olympic boxing squad the previous year and his dream of representing his country at London 2012 hung in the balance. The charge and subsequent conviction could have stopped Joshua's boarding boxing career in his track. As an amateur, he had already won two ABA championships a GB Amateur Boxing Champion and a silver medal at the World Championships. As Morphis remembers it, Joshua needed to make a choice. He was led astray by someone and when he got done for that, it was the kick up the bomb he needed, Morphy explained. He went to court and was found guilty. But the judge actually said to Josh, he had turned his life around, found boxing and was now representing his country. That's what kept him from getting a custodial sentence. I think that was the kick up the bomb he needed, really, to say, you know what, I think I can make a go of the boxing. And since that happened to him, he hadn't looked back since. He lived a clean life, kept out of trouble and he's got where he is now with hard work. It was not the first time Joshua had stumbled but it would be the last. When he first came as a teenager, he needed that little bit of help and encouragement, Murphy said. Someone to tell him he is doing well. I remember one time. He hadn't been in for a week or two and his mom rang me. She asked if I could talk to Josh. He was messing around with people he shouldn't have. I phoned him and he was back in the gym the next day. Murphy was Joshua's first boxing mentor and has watched in awe as Anthony Joshua has grown into a world champion, adored across Britain. Joshua's life is changed but Murphy explains the man has not. And with AJ family established as the UK's most famous fighter, 
Unfortunately, ABC acts as one of its last remaining safe havens. What he likes about coming into the boxing club, the majority of the people that were there knew him from when he was boxing, Murphy said. I have a couple of new coaches who kind of idolize him a bit and suck up to him a little bit but they are just in awe of him but mostly he is treated just like a normal person. We say alright Josh, when it comes in and then we get on with what we are doing. We don't spend too long, we chat to him but he is not different to anyone else in the gym. I think that's why he likes coming down the gym. He's not treated like a celebrity, he's not pestered for autographs, he's just another boxer getting on with his work. Now let's go down the story of his bet and then move up to his current boxing career. Anthony Olufemi Olaseni Joshua was born on 15th October 1989 in Watford, Hertfordshire, the son of Yeta and Robert Joshua. His mother is Nigerian while his father is of Nigerian and Irish ancestry. Joshua's Nigerian background can be specifically traced back to the Yoruba people. His cousin Ben Ileyemi is also a professional boxer. The pair made their professional debuts together in 2013. Joshua spent some of his early years in Nigeria as a boarding school student at Mayflower School in Kene, Ogun State. Following his parents' divorce when he was 12, he returned to the UK halfway through year 7 to join King's Langley Secondary School. Growing up on the Meriden Estate in Gaston, at Fort Shea, he was called Femi by his friends and former teachers due to his middle name Olufemi. He excelled at football and athletics and broke his school's year 9 100 meter record with a time of 11.6 seconds. A late starter in the sport, Joshua only began boxing in 2007, age 18 when his cousin suggested he take it up. His club Finchley ABC in Barnet, North London is also home to professional heavyweight Derek Chisora. Joshua won the 2009 and 2010 Haringey Box Cup. Joshua won the Senior ABA Champions in 2010 in only his 18th bout and later turned down £50,000 to turn professional. Turning down that £50,000 was easy. I didn't take up the sport for money, I want to win medals. He also went on to win the same tournament the following year. In 2010, his domestic success earned him a place on the GB boxing team and later the same year, he became British amateur champion at the GB amateur boxing championships after defeating Amin Isha. In June 2011, at the 2011 European amateur boxing championship, he beat Eric Bereklin and Katal Magnogo but was stopped by aggressive Romanian southpaw Mihai Nisto after receiving several standing count. In October 2011, he was named Amateur Boxer of the Year by the Boxing Writers Club of Great Britain. Joshua had an amateur record of 40 to 3. During the 2011 World Amateur Boxing Championships in Baku, Azerbaijan, Joshua is sudden arrival on the world scene when he beat Italian reigning world and Olympic champion Roberto Camerelle. 
and went on to stop Eric Fever of Germany in the semis before losing by a single point to local boxer Magomed Drazol Majidov winning a silver medal. En route to the final, Joshua secured his place at the 2012 Olympic Games in the 91kg plus division as a relative newcomer to the elite level of the sport. Joshua went into the 2012 London Olympics as a novice on the international scene despite being a world silver medalist. He received a tough draw in the last 16 of the super heavyweight event in Cuban, Erislandi Savon, ranked number 4 in the world by AIBA and nephew of the three-time Olympic champion Felix Savon. The home boxer battled through three tough rounds in his opening contest before being given the result 17-16. This decision caused some controversy with most observers believing Savon had clearly warned about his a few orders taking the view that he had won on merit. In his next bout he fought 2008 Beijing Olympics silver medalist Zhang Ziyi dropping his taller opponent in the middle round. Joshua won by 15-11, guaranteeing at least a bronze medal. In the last semi-final, Joshua met Kazakh boxer Ivan Daikako, and despite Joshua's height disadvantage, he won by 13-11 victory, gaining a place in the Olympic final. Joshua met 32-year-old reigning Olympic champion and former twice world champion Roberto Camerelli of Italy in the closing bout. About considering the first two rounds, 6, 5 and 13, 10 to Camerelli as adversary he had already beaten the previous year, Joshua grew into the fight and fought back to level the scores after the third round 18-18. Joshua was announced winner via count back and the new Olympic champion. The final decision was criticized by some boxing experts being defined as a home decision. He was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire MBE in the 2011 New Year Honours for Service to Boxing. There are actually four major belts up for grabs offered by different organizations. Joshua won his first belt, the IBF Everweight Championship in April 2016. On 29th April 2017, Joshua won a boxing match against Ukrainian boxer Vladimir Klitschko to add the WBA title to his collection. Joshua suffers humiliating defeat on his US debut after being knocked down four times to leave him out of the heavyweight champion picture. Anthony Joshua's American dream was transformed into his worst nightmare by the chubby kid and the Ruse Jr. on a scarcely believable night at Madison Square Garden. But according to World Boxing News, Joshua was hurt badly in a sparring session in the build up to the fight after he was knocked to the canvas by Joey Dawechko. Anthony Joshua reclaimed his world heavyweight title on a dramatic night in Saudi Arabia as he overcome Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch on December 7, 2019. This is the truth about Joshua's life story. Thank you for watching. See you some other time. Say bless. Bye-bye.